Good morning, Fit Family. Sam Bakhtiar here, and today I want to discuss with you a very, very important topic. And that topic is called the universal solvent. And guess what the universal solvent is? It's water. This right here. I mean, 80% of your body is made up of water. Every physiological process in your body requires water. Now, without water, you might only live about three to four days max. Without food, you can last about 33 to 40 days. Make sense? So you need water and you need plenty of water. But there's a problem with water. Here's what the problem is. Our body doesn't have a way that measures water. So your body doesn't have a system that says, okay, your water is getting low, so you gotta drink water right away. So our body, our pituitary gland actually measures salt concentration. So by the time it measures that your salt concentration has increased, then it sends a signal to your body and says, hey, our salt concentration increased, we gotta bring it back down, so we need to drink water. But the problem with that is by the time your salt concentration increased, you're already dehydrated. That's why so many, we see so many people that pass out in the summer, but they didn't even know they were dehydrated. Because hydration has a very poor mechanism of letting us know that we need hydration. Does that make sense? So that's why it is essential for you to drink water. Now, how much water do you ask? Well, here's how much water you need to drink. As far as I'm concerned, a rule of thumb is half of your body weight in ounces. So for example, if you're 200 pounds, then you need to drink 100 ounces of water. Now, to make it easy, I just tell everyone to drink a gallon of water. I mean, you know, that, that should pretty much cover it. But if you want to be very fancy, then measure it. You know, if you weigh 200 pounds, half of, you know, half, half of that is 100, so 100 ounces of water. Now, here's why water is important to the challenge and what we do. Because when you are working out, especially when you're doing what's called anaerobic exercise, anaerobic, you know, kind of resistance training, weight training, you know, your body produces something called lactic acid. Acid, okay? Lactic acid is when you know your muscles are sore, when you have that aches and pains. Those are acidity. So the problem with that is that our blood acidity, our, our, our body's acidity is supposed to be at 7.36. So when you're working out really hard and you, you're producing lactic acid, it drops our acidity level. And the problem with that is that when that drops, our recovery ability decreases, okay? So for you to recover from your workout and be less you know, acid, you need to drink a lot of water to try to flush that lactic acid out of your system. So that's how important it is because remember we already talked about is who can work out the hardest and who can recover the fastest. Make sense? Now, I got a kind of like a, a trick for you, a hack for you, if you will, to how to make sure your body stay alkaline and not acid, because that's the key to recovery. Well, two things you can do. You know, you can eat more green leafy vegetables, eat more of that, because there's nothing more alkaline than green leafy vegetables and nothing better for your body than that. Or you can go and get a shot of wheatgrass every day. You know, and that's kind of a pain in the ass because you got to go drive to a nutrition store, they got to press it and all that kind of stuff. Or a hack that I use is I use something like this, like a super green food. This is some good stuff. And actually, I'm in process uh, with Ivita and Mayo to develop the best formula of super greens yet. But it's not out yet. I'm, I'm in, you know, I'm in, uh, consulting with them. So what I do is I add a scoop of this. So a bunch of water, I'm talking about 24 ounces of water, every morning to make sure I stay hydrated and to make sure I recover because this is going to send my body to become more alkaline and it's going to fight all the acidity that the workout is going to produce and everything else is going to produce. This is Sam Bacter. I hope this was helpful for you. God bless you and I can't wait to see you transform. See you soon.